Cameron Davies. I've been designing custom vehicles my entire life. We're going to build a walk-in cooler with access door. I love you. <laughs> I've constructed a dream shop to build amazing vehicles. The myth, the man, the logo. <laughs> Everybody come outside. What the? <laughs> Together with my team, we build what others say is impossible. <laughs> Take your shoes off the bed. Look, look. That's clean. not my footprint. It is. I have look to clean bottom. all that. We take your brick and mortar and make it move. Juan, rolling. Let's get them pulled in and get going. Guys, we only have two months to get these built and back on the road to LA. Let's get rocking and rolling. If anybody can do it, it's us. So let's go. If you want the best, you build with us. Let's go make history. Josh. Well, how about you, Paul? Right. We're from Smashing Crab here, nice. local restaurant here in San Antonio. Very familiar with it. And I'm sure you understand kind of the predicament that the restaurants yes. are in with this yes. pandemic situation. Um, we've recently laid off probably 50 people. Jeez. And now I'm trying to figure out just how to save the company. And we happen to have a concept that can transfer over to a food truck. Right away, I thought, we need a food truck. It would help bring in additional income because food trucks don't necessarily have the restrictions that restaurants do at this particular time. And we have a concept that's transferable. And so when I'm thinking of food trucks in San Antonio, there's really only one place that, that I'm thinking of, and that's Cruising Kitchens. I love y'all's spot. My wife and I go to the one over there on San Terrace. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what's going on is with this pandemic situation, everything is kind of shut down. So this is really a lifeline situation for sustainability for the organization, which brings us to you guys in terms of, you know, wanting to get a food, food truck done. Never in my worst nightmare did I think that we'd be facing a pandemic. This thing has been terrible. We've lost millions of dollars, but it's our job at Cruising Kitchens to rally up and help build people out because restaurants are shut down. They need mobile assets and we're here to help them out. I can't imagine what y'all are going through. I know what we're going through. But how soon are you looking for it? Well, we'd really like something yesterday. As quick as possible, understanding that, you know, you're a small business, we're a small business, we're under some constraints here, and um, this is really a sustainability issue for Smash and Crab at this particular time. You know, right now, brick and mortars are shut down. The only thing that they'll allow most of them is just people to walk up and take out orders, but they can't get out to the public. People don't want to get out and about. So food trucks have the opportunity to get out and actually go to people, and so we're gonna help Smashing Crabs. We're gonna get them in business in a food truck. We're gonna take the miracle of a two-week build, which should be an eight-week build, and get it done for them. We do stock a lot of equipment. We'd have to work on a layout. Mm -hmm. So once y'all secure a layout, we have to go through our inventory and see what we have and don't have, mm -hmm. and then how fast I can get this equipment expedited to get here in order to have it done. I'm certainly appreciative of that. You guys don't know how much this would mean to, to us as owners of Smashing Crab, mm -hmm. and more importantly, what it would do for our employees in terms of having something for them to come back to. Let's go, let's rock and roll. I mean, we're here to help. If we don't bail Smashing Crab out, more than likely, they will be shut down. They will be out of business. They've already had to lay off 50% of the workforce. But if we can build this truck and do it in a miracle of two weeks rather than eight to 10, they can bring back some of their employees and they can stay afloat. We figured out what Smashing Crab needed, figured out a layout. We went through, found all the equipment we needed, got the truck here, so we're ready to build it out. Damn, this is it, huh? The biggest issue I thought we we're gonna have was getting equipment in time. We had some of the equipment here in inventory, so it kind of all came together. How is it inside? Real nasty. Open the back door, will you? Not what you expected, but it's a fixer-upper. We're gonna have to cut the door out, and then we'll just frame out the back wall. Call your guy for the windshield. Yeah, I'll Let him get on that here. now. Get the, can you get a template for the front grill? So yeah. we can start working on that. Josh will work on graphics. I mean, guys, we have two weeks. Let's get going. They're on their way over here now. Let me get the blessing before we take all the stuff out. Once we get the blessing, they cut us a check. We'll go. We're going to be the lifeline for Smashing Crab during this pandemic. We're going to take a step van and build into a food truck, cut windows in, put equipment in, do custom wheel assemblies, grills, upholstery, wrap it, electrical, plumbing, gas. We're going to do all this in two weeks.
gonna be able to bust an ass on this thing. What are you doing down here? He's like 18, bro. <laughs> Careful, you're gonna get your computer hands dirty. So I just walked out to the truck to see the progress, and the guys are kicking ass. They've already walled out the truck. They've gotten most of the equipment in. Pablo and Paul with Smashing Crab are about to come by and check out the progress on the truck. I think they'll be very pleased at how far we've come in just a week. Can we do one side plexi, one side window? I think the biggest I've seen is maybe a 16. We've had an opportunity to meet with Josh to discuss equipment layout, equipment selection. Very nice. We're really excited about the way this thing is going to go. We've got to go over to Bulverde Road and pick up the other truck so that we can get the generator off of it to put onto this other truck for Smashing Crab. It was kind of difficult getting that generator cut loose because the welds that we put down were so good and we wrapped the corners, so we really had to get in there with the cutoff wheel and get everything cut loose. 12 kW, it's about 800 pounds. We're going to have to remove that generator with the forklift. I get me to tilt forward, come up a little bit. The forklift can handle the weight of the generator, no problems. Biggest concern, 12 grand sitting there on the end of the forklift. You know, you're not paying attention. You hit one of the columns in the shop or you hit a truck. It's going to jack that truck up and jack the generator up. First steps to installing the generator is that we've got to install the new generator rack into Smashing Crabs. And then we can take the generator and lay it down on the rack, center it up, and then weld it down. It'll take me about 45 minutes to get the generator welded on, solid, get it painted, ready to go. I've already got it welded down. I need to let the welds cool a little bit before I paint it, and then we'll be ready to mount the generator back on here. Smashing crab to begin with, we kind of get in difficult spots because how tight and compact it is. Uh, sometimes we got to use our muscle, manpower. I mean, because some of this equipment is, is probably a little bit over 500 pounds, but we always make it happen. Cool beans. Money. The equipment has been installed, and I actually really like the layout. Right now, during this pandemic, it is extremely hard to find equipment in a timely manner. So we went through our storage, found a bunch of equipment, and we've integrated it into this build. So we got the electricians trying to finish up their stuff. And I just want to get my stuff in, but luckily I'll just mock mine up and get out of their way. That way. So my favorite part about plumbing is just putting it all together. It's always got to figure out new runs for my lines. I just like making it look nice and neat. Basically, like making a cake from scratch. There's a method to my madness. I know I look like I'm everywhere, but boom. Back down to the pump, 90 to that. And we're about off to the races. Smashing Crab was a little different from normal. It did have one uh, pretty decent sized window that we had to cut. We use acrylic. It's a lot more durable. Cutting in a table saw, it does fling a lot of debris, and that stuff gets on your skin. It, it burns pretty bad. So, I mean, for the most part, it's not difficult cutting it. The machine does it for you. It's more about the safety and protecting your skin, your eyes of cutting this material, because it does get hot and it does burn you. Looks good, Eddie. Victor's old. His upholstery is still amazing, but it takes a little bit longer these days, so I'm going to go check in with him and make sure he's still on for the timeline. Victor, I hate to give you props like this, but this looks unbelievable. How many pieces did you put together to make that? 29 pieces. Every every single one of these is a separate piece. Victor's working on all the upholstery for Smash and Crab, and it's looking amazing. From the headliner to the side panels to the seats to the custom dash, it's these custom features which are really going to make this build stand out. That looks like you a little bit. Yeah. Victor looks identical to the logo from Smash and Crab. <laughs> you don't see. Cameron, you look like a crab more than I do. <laughs>
Generator's on, plumbing's in, propane lines are run, equipment has been installed, the grill's come and the wheel assemblies are about to go on. A lot still to do, but the truck looks great. I know we're kind of at crunch time. I just had a question about the grill. Are we still going to be able to we're cut that today? We're just about to cut it. Taylor, right now, right now? Yeah, Taylor sent us a DX. Oh, I didn't know we had a design yet. Oh, yeah. Does it look good? It's 18 BA Barracas. <laughs> Don't burn your mullet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This plasma table that we got from Arclight is amazing. A custom grill like this would take somebody days to do it by hand. We pop it on the Arclight plasma table, and it's done in minutes. They gave us a crazy task of two weeks. We're a week in, and all we have to do is finish the wrap, put the wheel assemblies on, and pop the upholstery in. I'm blown away with my crew. On top of the Smash and Crab truck, we have a 35-gallon fresh tank. Now, my job is to custom build a diamond plate box that it goes into. What I'll do is I'll go to our shear, and I'll map that out on there, cut it down, bend it to where it fits in just right. Some people come over here and do one at a time. It's been about 20 minutes over here. I'm going to spend five. This happens on every build we make. Sometimes the tanks will get bigger, depending on the supply of water the customer is needing. But every, every build will have a fresh tank up on the roof, most likely, unless it's a Houston build, which calls for it to go inside. Time is running out, but we're getting really close to the finish line. They're busting the ass on the wrap. Okay. We we came to one problem. There was a, a plug directly behind the refrigerator. Okay. So we have to offset that plug. Relocate it. Yeah. Okay. So we're re relocating the plug and then pushing the refrigerator okay. back. All right. So wrap's going to be done. I told James what I'd like to see done is get the wrap done today, wheel assemblies on tomorrow, do the upholstery and the finishing touches, like the mm -hmm. front grill and all that. And then you Sunday to detail, Monday reveal, and let's get him in business. I mean, they're, they're counting on us. He's already called me this morning. I know he's already called you. He said he talked to you and just said, please, man. You know, they're trying to bring a couple of the people back already just to start preparing for their, yeah. you know, their new reveal of this. And so if you can make that happen. Yeah. We've got quite a bit left to do, and we've got to get it done within the next couple of days. Um, the wrap is just now going on. We haven't completed the wrap yet. We still need to put the upholstery on, and then it's just a bunch of tiny stuff that adds up to a lot of stuff. Um, so hopefully we can knock it out within the next day or two. Um, where are the waterproof covers? Prepping their steam table and getting it ready to go in the truck. Just, um, the only thing is it's sitting on the wheel well, so it's two legs are going to be shorter than the other. Typical stuff. Victor's upholstery and Smashing Crab turned out amazing. I've been involved in upholstery my entire life and never seen anybody as talented as Victor. It turned out to be great, better than I was expecting. I, I think everybody liked the, the final product of the, of the crab and, the, and everything inside the truck. Equipment's in, generator's been installed, they're starting the exterior wrap, upholstery's going in, custom grill's on its way, wheel assemblies are about to go on. Got a lot still to do, but the truck's looking amazing. Getting the propane tanks installed. Got to get these bases mounted, get the lines hooked up. That way we can start testing all the equipment.
The truck looks great. And I hate giving Josh credit, but I have to admit, he did a really good job designing this exterior wrap. The owners are gonna be blown away when they see this truck. The guys have been busting their tails, and they're ahead of schedule. So I'm going to shoot over to North Rock Church, hook up with Casey, because we set up a food drive to feed 6,500 first responders. It hits the heart, this one does, you know? These people are on the front line battling COVID-19 during this pandemic, and so what better way to give back than feeding them? We had this idea to uh, feed our first responders as well as all healthcare personnel during this crisis. We know that it's difficult for them to get food uh, right now, and it's much easier for us to serve them free meals and allow them to focus on their job and the task at hand. We want to do our part to help serve our community and the people who are on the front lines right now. We want to bless those that are blessing us, take care of those who have been taking care of us so well. North Rock Church and we're cooking all the food for our first responders and just getting them out the door as fast as possible and getting them fed. Today we're doing tacos. You know, we're in San Antonio. Everybody loves tacos. Hello. How are y'all? So anyone uh, that's in healthcare profession, um, any first responders, we just want to take care of them, give them a hot meal. Thank y'all so much. Stay safe out there. Did you get your drink? Yes, I did. Okay. We also do deliveries for people who can't get out or just have way too much food to pick up. We were trying to find opportunities to get involved with the community, love on our community. Cameron and Pastor Matt had this idea, came together, you know, brought this, this truck out here, got the food rolling. Cooking up some chicken fajita tacos for Stone Oak Methodist. They called an order in for 400 tacos this morning. So that on top of the 250, 300 meals we're doing a day, it's gonna make for a busy day today. We are feeding first responders absolutely free here at North Rock Church with Cruising Kitchens and Black Rifle Coffee. For Seville Future, we're going to be here delivering and just take care of those who are taking care of us. The guys have been putting a lot of hours in. We basically built a full food truck in less than two weeks. The clients are coming in four hours. There is a lot still to do. All the finishing touches. The last 18% of a build is what makes it so special. So cleaning it, putting final graphics on, testing audio video, testing all the equipment, putting the panel schedule on. Those are the things that make Cruising Kitchen stand out. The clients are going to be blown away. Smashing crabs here, and we're ready to show them their new truck. The pandemic has hit hard, and some of these people have been furloughed. But now this truck is bringing them back to work. We're about to reveal the truck to them. We made it happen in two weeks, which I didn't think was possible, but we did. Um, and I hope they're excited just as much as we are about the food truck. I know we told you two weeks. We got it done in about a week and a half. The guys bust their ass to make it happen. Um, and we hope y'all are as proud of it as we are. Usually my favorite part about a build is something on the exterior or an interior finish, but not this one. We were the lifeline for Smashing Crab, and that is what makes it so special. Bring her out. There it comes. <laughs> yeah. Look at the grin. <laughs> We had to surprise Smash and Crab a little bit and do this custom grill. They loved it. James and the guys knocked it out of the park. It's just that finishing touch that makes the truck so special. Very nice. It absolutely meets our expectations. In fact, it exceeds our expectations. This truck really represents a lifeline for Smash and Crab. It gives us an opportunity to supplement the sales of our existing units. This is it, y'all. These guys right here deserve a round of applause. That's a wrap. The truck is done. We've well exceeded Smashing Crab's expectations. 
We're now the lifeline of their business, and they're going to stay in business because of this unit right here. Everything on this truck is custom, from the grill to the wheel assemblies to the wheel assembly logos to the underlays of the window. But this is y'all, so y'all go dive in. This is y'all's turn to take a look at it. Josh, show them around, bud. Let's go check it out. We just delivered the truck to Smashing Crab, and they couldn't have been more pleased with what they saw. Um, I couldn't have been more pleased with what our guys did, and it's incredible to see what we can do and accomplish when we really put our minds to it. My crew knocked down the park. I could not be more excited with the outcome of this truck and the time frame that they did. I just can't thank Mr. Davies and his crew enough. They have no idea what this is going to do to help this business survive.